To add paragraph text to our course page, we click on the text block button in the assets menu, like this. So this brings up um, standard Lorem Ipsum text. Um, so as usual, we save uh, our file regularly. Um, so we have an option here to type in new text. or indeed we can paste it in. So to paste text into our text block, um, we simply click in the box and I'm using Notepad here um, to take some text. Um, so as was said before, always use the text editor um, to copy and paste text. Um, that way it's not formatted and it will look clear on the course page. Um, so if we um, copy this text here and paste it into our slide, let's have a look. Okay, so you can see that it goes in there. It's nice and clear. It needs to be tidied up um, a bit into paragraphs. Um, and we're going to save that straight away. So then it's just a case of... Um, basically tidying up our text. So using the backspace key, um, using the right punctuation. And basically um, what you want to do is you want to keep the paragraphs with about three lines of text. Um, and it looks better. It's easier to read that way. So I'm just going to tidy up the text into three line paragraphs. Basically just clicking into the line of text and using the backspace key then to um, to bring up the text. I'm going to save that. So another aspect of formatting our paragraph text then uh, will be to use the bold and italic feature. So if you click into the box there, you'll see that the edit menu comes up straight away. Um, now it's a good idea to include um, at least one case of bold and one case of italic text um, on each page. Um, it just uh, make, makes it look better um, so it's not so boring and bland. So in this case um, we can choose for example the first phrase here. So let's pick that and make that bold by clicking the bold button here and save. Okay, so then, um, so I suppose the purpose of using bold and italic is to highlight certain words and phrases that are important. So that's the main purpose of using bold and italic. So in this case, we want to emphasize the, um, the name of this particular computer game. Okay, so we have the bold um, example there. So now let's try to find an example of italic. So we go through the rest of the text and let's say Rock Band here is another name of a game. So just highlight that by clicking and dragging over it and go to the edit menu and click on italic and save. So as you can see there, it just uh, makes the text look a bit more interesting. It's not all the same. So just as a rule, try to include um, at least one instance of bold text and one instance of italic text, if you can. If nothing needs to be highlighted, then don't. But um, if there is a word or phrase that could be highlighted, um, then that's a good rule to follow. Okay, so the other thing we need to look at then is putting borders um, on our text blocks. So if you just click into um, the text block, um, you'll see that this option here comes up, borders, on the right hand side just below the edit menu. So if you click on that, that brings up some further options. So you can see that there's borders um, for the top, there's a border for the left, the right, the bottom, and all. So we can have um, 
I'll just show you, for example, what a bottom border would look like. So if we click on bottom, then click on save straight away, and preview to preview the slide. So this is what it will look like on the course player. You can see down there this the next and previous buttons just like the course player. So you can see that the thin uh, light gray line underneath the uh, last paragraph is uh, the bottom border effect. So we close that preview down. Uh, let's click in again and change to a different border. Let's say all this time. Okay, so we choose all and we click save. And now preview to see what this looks like. Okay, so there you have the uh, full box border there. Um, so that's just an example of using borders on our text blocks. Okay, so just to show you then that we can have multiple text blocks on a page. Um, so uh, if I click down here on the, uh, on the blank space and click another text block here, you can see that it comes in. If I press it again, another one comes in. Um, so I'll just save that. Um, now, obviously, as a rule on course pages, we shouldn't have too much text. Uh, it just doesn't look very good. It's too much information. It's overwhelming for the for the user. So, uh, as I say, I would recommend just keeping um, you know about three paragraphs, three or four paragraphs of text on a page. Just not too much. Um, but we can also uh, resize our paragraph, our text blocks. So to do that, uh, basically, you just hover over the text block. And if you go to the edge with your cursor, you'll see that it changes into uh, this tool here. So if you left click and drag, you can resize the text block. So again, you just hover over the boundary with the cursor and it changes into a drag tool okay uh, the two arrows there so if you click left click again you drag out and you can resize like that okay okay so that's just make sure that stays in position there okay and save <laughs> Okay, so if we click on the next uh, box below um, and do the same, now you can see what happens there is that when I drag it into a certain size, it automatically positions it itself in the blank space above. Um, but in this way, you can arrange your text blocks, uh, you know, in, in, in a different way um, to present your text, just to let you know that that option is available. Um, now for the purposes of this will be more applicable I suppose to print media to magazines and brochures where or newspapers uh, where graphic designers are laying out pages uh, where there's large volumes of text and they would use multiple text blocks um, on one page however in the case of course pages online course pages uh, we wouldn't usually have that many text blocks on a page we will, you know it's too much uh, text really for for an online course but just to let you know this is how you do it so again if we left click at the edge it changes into a drag tool and then we position it and we, you see that it automatically fills the space uh, that's available and just save Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through um, the full text block edit menu. So clicking in a text block here, um, there's three text blocks on the page, um, and going over to the edit menu, if we, for example, select the first paragraph and click on left align, we see that it's already left align. Uh, if you click on center align, you'll notice that all of the content of the text block uh, changes to center align. So if we want, uh, for example, one of the uh, paragraphs, this one here, to be left aligned, we'd have to remove that from the text block and put it in another one. So if I uh, basically paste it into this one, uh, you can see there that it can be put in center aligned. 
So let me save that. Okay. Uh, so then we can have right align. Let's try with this one here. Right align. The next option on the edit menu is change the font size. So again, the standard size there is always 14, uh, but we can make that smaller here, uh, 12. Uh, we can make it bigger, all the way up to 18. And press save. Okay, the, the next option then is bold. So for example, we can highlight uh, a word or phrase in bold. Okay, so you'll see that that shifted over their position when I made that bold. Um, so obviously this, when you, uh, you're expanding the text block by making text bold uh, ever so slightly. And when that can shift around then uh, the elements. So basically you just have to make sure that, uh, you know, you position your text blocks in the place that you want them. Uh, using the uh, the resize tool. Okay, so then the next uh, button here is the italic tool. Again, always save after every change that you make. Um, then we can have underline. We can have superscript. Subscript. We probably won't have to use them that much. And then the last option there is, uh, it says convert to code snippet. So if you click on that, uh, you can see that it uh, just changes the format there um, to make the, the block of text stand out a bit more, to make it look different. Um, so if I preview that, you could see that the uh, that particular style comes with uh, a different color background and also a green border. Uh, because the theme that we're using, the color theme we're using is green for this particular course. So that they are all the features of the edit menu.